There's an interesting story. Okay. Thank you, Rudy. Jeff? If you listen to AM radio at night, you may have noticed that you can receive stations from hundreds of miles away. But have you ever wondered why you can't watch TV stations from, say, New Mexico, Colorado, or even Canada? Well, now you can, and you don't even need a satellite dish. Mike Bohan is here now to tell us more. You've always been able to do it. It's just that uh, it takes a lot of patience and the willingness to, to look for these things. And if you're hooked up to the cable like I am and like a lot of people are, this is not going to do any good at all. Uh -huh. You have to be able to pick signals out over the air the from an antenna. Way, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, the rewards can be uh, pretty great. It's called DXing, and that's pulling in signals from great distances. And sometimes when the conditions are just right, the most amazing stuff can come out of your TV. TV, Channel 3, Port Dallas. Next public TV station in New Mexico. This concludes the broadcast day of television station WOWT in Omaha. All of these images were received and recorded in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, this is a mixture of San Angelo, Texas, and uh, something else. In fact, Tom Bryant has logged over 235 different TV stations from his Bellevue home. You're going to see this big two pop up, and it took me almost three months of seeing that thing just for split seconds at a time to finally find out what it was. WGN TV, Channel 2 in Denver. Now th this is really kind of electronic fishing. You have to have the right equipment, which doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to have, have fancy stuff for fishing. You have to basically know what you're doing, and you have to be at the right place at the right time. And that's about all it takes. That, a bit of luck, and a lot of patience. You wouldn't believe this, but I'll sit and look at snow for hours just waiting for something to happen. I'd believe that. All this long-distance eavesdropping is possible because TV signals, although relatively weak, bounce or skip around in the atmosphere. And where they land is anybody's guess. Sometimes you get two stations mixed together. That's what's happening here. You got sound from one and picture from another, and it just sort of all swirls together and... You sit here and wonder, what the heck is this? Then you see some call letters there, not long enough to tell what they were, but then they appear here. K-O-O-D-9 Hayes, K-S-W-K-3 Lakin. Where is that? That's in southwestern Kansas. Brian says the best time for TV skip reception tends to be in the summer, but it can happen year-round. This is the Mexican version of Siskel and Ebert. The best thing about this hobby is that you don't need any special equipment. A good directional outside antenna mounted on a rotator is best, but you can even use ordinary rabbit ears. This was the first clue as to what it was. It says Kelo Land up there. KELO is channel 11 in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and they have transmitters also on channels 3 and 6. Well, this is the channel 3 transmitter from Garden City or Florence, South Dakota, and they're uh, having some anniversary congratulations for some, for some viewers, but look at how good the signal got. And a happy 97th birthday to Lily Bagus guy from Huron, South Dakota. Happy birthday, dear Lily. Happy birthday to you. We'll get the rest of them on Monday. Have a good weekend. Who knows? Maybe this signal right now is skipping into Saskatchewan, home of CKOS, the Prairie Giant just the way their signal came barreling into Nashville. Saskatchewan. Good night from Shamrock Country. Isn't that what? Incredible stuff, isn't yeah. it? Now, if you recognize Tom Bryant's voice, uh, he's been doing hundreds of thousands of commercials for WSM Radio for over 20 years. Uh, some interesting things. I bet you didn't know that you could catch these things. No, not at all. I mean, just radio stations, the only thing I ever thought of. Sure. WGN and yeah, all everybody the listens, clear channel stations. Yeah, but. everybody listens to AM radio uh, that way. Uh, but it is possible out there. There are all sorts of organizations, and they have little uh, books where people write in and report this weird stations that they've seen. And I'm sure Channel 4 right now is bouncing around say, skipping somewhere. everywhere. <laughs> I like the, the analogy of fishing, electronic yeah. fishing. How about that? And uh, composite television, split, <laughs> split images. Right. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Sure. Demetria? Still to come in this newscast, our environmental heroes are making a difference in their workplace.